Hi everyone, Matteo here. Today I will compare two portable espresso makers, the Wakako Nano Presso and the Outin Nano. The main difference between the two devices is that the Wakako Nano Presso is completely mechanical, so it works with a pump to generate the pressure needed to extract the coffee. The Outin Nano instead is battery powered, so you don't need to pump to extract the coffee, but just press the switch. The other main difference is that with the Wakako you need to put hot water inside the water tank, so you need another device to warm up the water, when instead with the Outin Nano, because it's uh, battery powered, it has an integrated uh, kettle inside the device. And this is a great feature for the Outin Nano, because if you're traveling you don't need another device to bring with you to warm up the water. Ok, now let's have a look at the size of the two devices. As you can see, Wakako is uh, smaller and, and lighter. It's 340 grams, when compared to the Outin, that's um, weight, 670, around 670 grams. So basically, almost double. The Wakako is long around 16 centimeters, when the Outin uh, Nano is uh, around 24 centimeters. So it's basically taller. So the Wakako Nano Presso is uh, smaller and lighter compared to the Outin Nano, uh, so that can be an advantage for the Wakako one. But of course, uh, we need to count the fact that with the Wakako we need the water supplier, so another device to bring with you. If we are looking to the composition of the both devices, I can say that they are both similar. Both they have an integrated cup. The water tank here is the one from the Wakako and the one for the outing is integrated into the body. Then we have, of course, the body, the basket, pretty similar, with the porta filters, and the scoop for the coffee, for the ground coffee that also work as a tamper. Both of them have an adaptator for the Nespresso capsule, but I won't compare this because I have only the one for the outing, but I do have the one uh, for the Wakako. Ok, now let's see at the capacity of the two devices. Let's start with the water tank. The outing tank can fit 80 ml of water and it's also easy uh, to see because it has a scale mark here. It says 50, 70 and max that is 80 ml. The Wakako Nano Presso doesn't have a, a scale mark, but if I fill the tank until the line, it can fit 80 ml. So pretty much the same water capacity. But what I know is that Wakako also have a barista kit that is a accessory pack to upgrade the water tank uh, up to 120 ml and also the basket up to 16 grams. This can be a good upgrade if you want to do a bigger espresso in quantity like a double shot, uh, but of course then the length of the device it will be a bit longer. Now let's see the basket. Both of them fit 8 grams of ground coffee, but here is the difference. The outing one is slightly narrower and also taller uh, than the Wakako one. And also there is a curious difference. When you tamp the coffee uh, on the outing basket, you tamp like when you tamp a coffee from an espresso machine, which is the side where there is the shower screen. Basically the water goes from this side through the coffee pack and goes out from this valve. With the Wakako Nano Presso instead, you tamp the coffee on the opposite side where it sits, the filter. See, here is where the water com comes from. It goes through the pack and goes on the filter and then through the valve. And this might create a difference in brewing. Also, the shower screens are different. The outing one has a circle of holes, when the Wakako one has holes more distributed on the surface of the coffee pack and this can give a better water distribution on the coffee pack during the extraction. Now let's do a temperature check. Water temperature is very important in coffee extraction, and to make sure that we always achieve a good consistency, this temperature needs to be always the same. So now I'm going to run hot water that I pre-boiled with an electric kettle uh, in the Wakako to check the temperature difference between uh, two extraction uh, one after the other. Because one thing that you need to know is that to achieve a good temperature uh, during the extraction with the Wakako, you need to uh, preheat uh, the device. Because if the device is cold, uh, the water that will extract the coffee, it will be too low. And now I show you. First I take the Wakako 
a reusable cup and I preheat it with hot water. So when I will uh, pour the water from, from the machine, it won't lose a lot of temperature and I want to keep all the time the temperature stable inside uh, the reusable cup so I can check with a thermometer probe. Now the water is hot, 99 degrees Celsius. I'm going to discard the water. I fill this with water onto the line, hot water, like when we're gonna do our coffee with the Wakako. Now I close it and I'm gonna pump the water inside the reusable cup and check with the thermometer the temperature. And the thermometer probe is showing me 71, 70 degrees and now is, of course, is dropping the temperature. So 70 degrees. Now, if I straight away take the Wakako and I fill again the water in the tank of the Wakako, like I did before, same temperature, so what's happening here? Because the device was already hot, already preheat. Now the thermometer probe shows me higher temperature, 77 degrees. So there is a seven degrees difference between when the machine is cold, when the Wokako is cold, or when it's warmed up. So this is because the water tank is already hot, so it will absorb less uh, energy from the hot water and also the body is already preheated. Now let's check with the Outing Nano. As I said before, the Outing Nano has an integrated kettle, so it warms up uh, cold water and it will start the extraction once the water uh, reaches the temperature target of the device that uh, should be up to 96 degrees Celsius. So now I put cold water, then I close it and I turn on the device. Perfect, now the water is start to warm up. And it's gonna be completely uh, hot when the four light dots will be completely uh, on. And now it's almost there. So I'm going to warm up the reusable cup of Wakako. Now I discard the water. Perfect, now the water is up to come out and I'm gonna measure the temperature with the thermometer probe like I did with the Wakako. Okay, all well, the water came out and the thermometer probe shows me 81 degrees Celsius, of course. This is already higher than, than the Wakako one. The Wakako one, the first extraction was around 70, 71. Now I do it again, so I'm gonna place again cold water inside the tank Turn it on, and now let's wait. There you go. Now it's coming out, and the temperature is 81 degrees Celsius. So basically it's the same as the, as the first one, uh, so it didn't change at all. Definitely the integrated kettle helps to keep the temperature steady. Now, one thing that I also like is the fact that uh, even if we put hot water in the tank, the machine won't deliver the water until it reaches the temperature target. Also, I find very positive the fact that uh, the device, it starts to deliver the water for the coffee extraction by itself, right after the water gets hot. Because in case we need to press the switch to start the extraction and we forget that we put the water to warm up, can happen that we might end up with a colder extracting water or if the device keeps the water always hot until we press the switch, uh, probably the battery will run out pretty quickly. So for me, it's a positive aspect about this device to achieve consistency. Now about this temperature check, uh, don't worry because the water, it will be hotter when you will extract uh, the coffee with both of the devices. It's not the same temperature that you saw on the uh, screen of my thermometer probe because we had a bit of temperature loss between the body and the, the probe because they add space. So uh, the temperature in both of the devices will be definitely higher. Okay, now let's make some coffee. 
I will try to make both of them at the same time so I can compare them side by side. I will use the same recipe for both, so I'm gonna use my scales to uh, weigh the espresso yield and also the grams that I will put inside both baskets. So let's put eight grams each basket. The work alcohol is done, you know, the outing. And the outing also done. I pour cold water in the tank of the outing and I turn it on. Okay, now it's time to pour the hot water inside the Wakako tank. Close it. I'm gonna use my shot glass to check the extraction and also to check the crema. Perfect. Set to extract. the yield is pretty much the same. Now, let's start to have a look at the coffees. First of all, we can say that crema level more or less is the same. Like So the Auti Nano run uh, slower than the Wakako. Uh, you can see also like the darker, darker crema on top. So it, it looks like that is a bit more like extracted. And also the crema is slightly thicker than the Wakako one, but both of them have a nice crema, something that I would expect from, from a portable espresso maker. Now, let's taste them. Okay, here I have the Wakako one, and here the Outin um, Nano. Let's taste the Wakako first. The coffee is not bad, it's a bit cold, but I think that it is uh, quite normal. The coffee has a good acidity. Okay, let's taste the Outin one. Okay, um, this is a bit hotter. Um, the coffee is really sweet. Okay, uh, I can say that this coffee has uh, more acidity and less body. This one is more sweet, has more body. So um, this is more like what I would say close to an espresso machine. Maybe there is a slightly like a bit of bitterness, but I think that is normal. It's uh, one of the features of the espresso. The Wakako one is also good. It's good, but in a different way. It has less body, it's less sweet. It's a bit colder, but it's fine, it's drinkable. Um, I think it's also lighter. I think it's like less extracted, but it's, it's, it's good. I like it. I like uh, acidity uh, on espresso. Um, so I think that it's a good espresso, but maybe a lot of people will like it. The outing one, as I said before, body is amazing um, it's super sweet it's well balanced maybe a bit too much uh, balance for my taste but i'm sure that a lot of people will like this kind of espresso because that's really cool a lot uh, like what is an es espresso in italy and um, so i'm very happy for both but that's the two main characteristic the wakako one uh, struggle be more to achieve that level of extraction. So um, what I will do uh, to extract a bit more with the Wakago, I will run more uh, water. So instead of like stopping the shot at 25 grams, I will go for a longer shot. This can extract more sweetness, will create more balance um, in the espresso. The problem is that it will be a bit more watery, so it will be less strong. The outing one, I think that if I want to change something, I would run the shot a bit shorter. I would give less yield. Uh, so instead of like 24.6, 25, more or less the same as the Okako one, I would give uh, one or two grams less. Probably I would get really strong coffee because we run less water. So the coffee is actually stronger. There is more solutes inside the coffee. So it's really like even more uh, intensity but also uh, avoid that slightly bitterness that I got at the end. That is not negative, it's about taste. And uh, so I think that I'm happy with both. Depends about what would you like. 
Uh, I will say that like, if you like more uh, delicate, more acidity in the coffee, the wakako might be good for you. If you like more a kind of like espresso, real espresso intensity in body and uh, the, the strong taste, I would say that the outing is the, is the best one. Okay, now it's time to wrap up this video with a conclusion. Uh, I can say that both of the devices, in terms of uh, composition, are pretty similar. In terms of extraction, both devices uh, made a uh, satisfying crema. In terms of taste, I can say that both of them can deliver a good coffee. Of course, uh, the Wakako uh, Nanopresso need more consideration in terms of temperature control because it doesn't have the integrated capsule like the Outin Nano. The Outin Nano is more consistent, as we saw, uh, as we saw from the water temperature test, uh, all the time delivering the same uh, temperature. This can be good for consistency. The Wakako one, we saw that the temperature can vary depending on uh, if the device is cold or is warmed up. Um, so, but both can make pretty good coffee. It depends about the taste. With the Wakako one, we had a shot that with more um, acidity in it, more highlight, a bit weaker compared to the outing that made an espresso that was pretty close to the one that you can enjoy from a commercial espresso machine. The Wakako Nano Presso is definitely smaller and lighter than the uh, Outin Nano, uh, so it's easy to carry on the backpack. But we can also say that you need another device to warm up the water. Now, if you travel to hotels, uh, where usually you can easily find a kettle to warm up the water inside your bedroom, uh, the Wakako is uh, just enough for you. But if you then you're backpacking in the middle of nowhere, uh, then you need another device to warm up the water that will be extra weight on your shoulder. The Outin Nano is an all-in-one device, so you don't need to bring another device to warm up the water. So if you are in the middle of nowhere and you just have cold water, you are just fine. You can make your espresso and enjoy the peace and uh, the nice view. But it also works without water. so even if you are in the hotel room, you can use the kettle, so it will be faster and the battery will last longer. So if you want a device that is more consistent during instruction, espresso by espresso, I think the Outin Nano is the portable espresso for you. Now let's talk about the price. And yeah, there is a difference. The Wakako Nano Presso on their website uh, costs 69.90 US dollar, when the Outin Nano on their website costs 139.99 US dollar. Basically double. Now I want to hear your thoughts. Do you have any of these two devices or you have something else or you are interested in buy a portable espresso maker? If you would like to share your thoughts just drop a comment in the section below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in my next videos and in the meantime I wish you a wonderful day and delicious coffee. Ciao!